A new 48 Hours investigation is looking into the murder of a woman from Minnesota. Her name is Heidi Furcus, and she called 911 to report someone breaking into her home in St. Paul. Her husband, Nick Furcus, later told investigators that his gun accidentally fired and shot Heidi while he struggled with an intruder. But is that what the evidence actually indicates? Jamie Yukas gives us an early look now at her 48 Hours report. Someone's trying to break into my home. Heidi Ferguss's 911 call went dead after a loud noise. Well, I don't know where she went there. About a minute later, her husband, Nick Ferguss, also called 911. Okay, are you in St. Paul, sir? Sergeant Jim Gray of St. Paul Police Department. St. Paul Fire Paramedics took Nick out to the ambulance and transported him to Regions Hospital. Furcus was treated for a Gray's gunshot wound to his leg. There was nothing the first responders could do for Heidi. Heidi was struck in the back as she was trying to flee towards the kitchen. It was a shotgun blast that killed her right away. The shotgun was laying inside the front door area. There's a little foyer. Furcus told police he hurt someone fiddling with the front doorknob from upstairs. He then armed himself with a shotgun. Nick says as the couple tried to escape out the back, the front door burst open. And Nick and the intruder struggled over the shotgun. After Fergus was treated at the hospital, he gave a statement to Sergeant Gray at the police station. I think he, he grabbed the barrel. Let's say the intruder gets in. Prosecutor Elizabeth Lawman. They have this life and death struggle right in this area with nothing disturbed. On the table. Exactly. There was a vase, uh, some receipts, a beer bottle, and none of that was knocked over. His story didn't make a lot of sense to me. But Brandon O'Connor, who was house sitting next door to the Ferguses, says he heard shouting coming from the Ferkus home. Really all I heard was kind of this agonizing yell of, you shot her, you shot me. Uh, please, please, no, something along those lines, and then, then it was done. And hey, Jamie, you can join us now. Jamie, good morning to you. Quite a report here. So when the police started to investigate this murder, what did they learn? Well, what they learned when they went to the house is that they couldn't find any evidence of an intruder at the home, which was central to Nick Ferguson's story. Uh, one part of that interview that you saw was Sergeant Gray. He, Nick Ferguson told investigators that they were actually set to move out of their house the day after Heidi was killed, saying the bank had foreclosed on the property. But when investigators then went back to the home to take a look at things, didn't see any evidence of an intruder. They also didn't see any evidence of a move. There were no boxes, nothing had been packed up. There was actually even food in the fridge. Jamie, so a new investigator took over the case in 2019. What more did she discover? So it's really interesting. A lot of times in these cases, you know, a piece of DNA evidence comes out or a witness comes forward. None of that happened in this case. Sergeant Sipes huh. was, uh, got the case, took 11 years for Nick Ferkus to be charged, but she actually dug into financial records, uh, wow. those banking records, and found some new little nuggets of information that she was able to take to the DA where they decided after 11 years, more than a decade, to charge Nick Ferkus. Wow. Wow. Jamie Yukis. Jamie, thank you very much. You can see Jamie's report, Death at the Front Door, Who Shot Heidi Furcus, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+.